Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So today we are gonna do a bit of micro logging. Our neighbor a couple properties over had their property timbered last fall. We've been up there once already. We took the dump trailer up in the Polaris Ranger, cut up a bunch of wood and loaded the dump trailer by hand. Today we're gonna take the Coyote tractor up and our other neighbor, the one we met a few weeks ago, is gonna bring his skid steer up. So the loggers that timbered this, they left a ton of treetops. There is a ton of beautiful firewood up there and there's gonna be some stuff that's gonna be really easy to get to. But the reason this is called micro logging is because we don't have dozers and skidders and feller bunchers and all that stuff. Like I said, we're just using a compact tractor with a grapple and a skid steer with a grapple. So we're using relatively small equipment to go back in there and grab some firewood poles. Hopefully we can get at least a dump trailer or two. Let me show you what we got going on. So we've been back here cutting before. The only difference is before we were cutting back in this area right off of the cornfield. But I've been driving back through here a couple times in the side by side and I noticed there's a ton of logs just sitting right on the side of the trails. So that's what we're after today is kind of the easy pickings, the stuff that's sitting right on the side of the trails. So this is where we were cutting before. A lot of treetops left in here, but you can see getting back in there is uh, no easy feat. A lot of brush and stuff still in the way. So like right here's a nice one we can get back in here and cut and get to pretty easy. Reach down in there with the grapple, pick that up, drag it out, cut it into eight, 10 foot lengths and throw it in the dump trailer. Here's another one. There's probably a good three or four firewood poles in there, eight to 10 foot lengths. Couple more right here. Easy pickings.
there's the first load in the dump trailer. And then we've got a whole second pile here. And if you can see over there, we got more coming out of the woods. So here's the two loads we just got. There's the first one and there's the second one. That second load was definitely heavy. I don't think I would have wanted to have gotten any more wood on that second load. You know, the F-150 towed it just fine, but I knew it was back there. But I think we are pretty set for firewood poles for a while. Let me show you a little bit of the inventory we have here. Over the winter, you know, when the ground was frozen, my goal was to get as much firewood out of the woods as possible in log form. So in the spring when it would rain, we could just stay down here in the firewood yard and uh, not have to worry about the mud and all that stuff and just have enough down here to keep us busy. Well, we've got plenty of firewood down here and we haven't had any rain hardly at all this spring. The ground is dry as a bone. We haven't had to worry about that at all. So at some point though, I am gonna have to start coming down here and cutting and splitting. I think at this point right now, I'm gonna be done with the uh, firewood pole accumulation and just work on processing what I have here. There's quite a bit here to work through. And I really don't wanna be doing it this summer when it's 90 degrees outside. So I wanna get through most of this this spring if possible. But anyway, back to the micro logging. That went extremely well. We had two full dump trailer loads out of the woods, loaded into the dump trailer, and brought back here to our property and dumped in three hours. I don't think I've ever gotten firewood out of the woods that quick. Now, granted, we did have two machines back there. Like I said, we had the Coyote compact tractor and we had a skid steer, both with grapples. Tell you what, a grapple is a must have if you're gonna be doing logging. And I will say for what we are doing today, that brute force log grapple, I would take that any day over a brush grapple if you're doing just logs. Now, if you are gonna be moving brush and things like that, yeah, the brush grapple is probably better off. It's a little bit more universally uh, useful, but the log grapple for doing logs, that's exactly what it's made for. It worked awesome. After a little while, we did find that it was quicker to park the tractor, have Doug running the skid steer, moving logs, picking them up while I cut them down to length. So that way I wasn't on and off the tractor, picking up logs, then cutting them. It was just easier to have somebody in the machine and somebody running the saw. So that's what we found worked best for us. And uh, like I said, we got two dump trailer loads out of the woods in three hours. It went pretty smooth. But yeah, I think we're gonna have a lot of cutting and splitting here in the yard. Like I said, we gotta start busting out some of these poles that we have here before we start getting any more wood out of the woods. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, click that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.